Hello everyone, in this video we're going to do a proof and we're going to do it using something called proof by contrapositive. So the statement says that n is an integer and we're going to prove if n squared is even then n is even. So this is an if p then q type statement. So this is our p and this is our q. So a direct proof would involve uh, assuming that p is true and then showing that q is true. Uh, a proof by contrapositive would work as follows. We assume not q is true and then we show not p is true. So it's called the contrapositive. So the goal here is to assume not q is true, so assume the opposite of, of q is true, the negation, and then we'll show that not p is true. So again, this is called uh, the contrapositive. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, so proof. So we'll start the proof uh, by assuming that q is false. So uh, the opposite of even is odd, so we'll say suppose n is odd. So I'm going to briefly recall the definitions of even and odd over here because they are absolutely vital and necessary for this problem. So b is even if b is 2 times an integer. So if you can write it as a multiple of 2, that means 2 times an integer, where k is an integer. And then b is odd uh, means that you can write b as, so I should put an if here, uh, to, I'll just use m plus 1, where m is an integer. Okay, so we've assumed not q is true. Now we have to show not p is true. In other words, we have to show n squared is odd. So and before we do that, we typically have to use what we have already written down. So we've written down that n is odd. So let's go ahead and go further and then write down what that actually means. So this means that n is equal to 2m plus 1 where m is an integer. So now we've exhausted, in some sense, what we've written down. Right? We've, we've used the fact uh, that n is odd. Now we have to show that n squared is odd. Right? Remember, we're, we're assuming not p, we're showing not q. So the natural thing to do is now to look at n squared. Let me switch to an easier to see color here. There we go. So then, n squared. Well, n is 2m plus 1, so this is 2m plus 1 squared. And there's multiple ways of multiplying this out. Um, you can write it twice in FOIL. I like to use a formula. If you have a plus b squared, you square the first one, multiply them, and double them, and then square the last. This is uh, how I do the multiplication here. So this would be 2m squared is 4m squared. And then you take these and multiply them and double it. So 4m, and then you square the last one, so plus 1. So this is what we have. This is where we are. And what are we trying to show? We're trying to show that n squared is odd, right? We're trying to show not p. So odd means 2m plus 1, okay? So what we can do now is we can maybe pull out a 2 from these. So this is 2, right? And then we do that because we want it to be 2m plus 1, right? We want it to be 2 times an integer plus 1. When we pull out a 2, we get 2m squared plus 2m. And then we're left with a plus 1. And for clarity, we can give this a name. We can give it any name we like except the letters we've already used. How about 2p plus 1, where p is equal to 2m squared plus 2m, and more importantly, p is an integer. So that's important for the definition of an integer, of uh, odd. 
Um, if you're wondering why p is an integer, the product of integers is an integer, the product of integers is an integer, the sum of integers is an integer. So the integers, integer times integer, integer plus integer, they're all integers. So we've shown that n squared is equal to 2p plus 1, where p is an integer. This is precisely what it means for n squared to be odd. This is precisely what it means for n squared to be odd. That is the definition of odd. And that completes the proof. So a really simple proof, but hopefully uh, an understandable example of proof by contrapositive. So the main idea is if you're trying to show something like if p then q, sometimes it's easier to do the contrapositive. Let me spell it for you. It's contrapositive. And this is called a proof by contrapositive. So if your initial gut reaction is, hey, I'm not sure how to do this. I don't, I don't know how to do it. You can always think about it this way, and sometimes it will be much easier, and I think in this case it is. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.